In this video, I want to show you how Logos transforms a standard Greek lexicon like BDAG into a powerful tool with features like emphasize active references, lexicon reformatting, clickable links to primary source texts, and a word lookup from English translations. Imagine you're studying 1 John 5.14, where we find that Christians can have the sort of confidence before God that He will grant us anything we ask of Him according to His will. And we want to know more about the word confidence in the original language. There was a time when I would have had to look up the English word in a reference like Strong's Concordance to find the Greek word, and then look up the Greek word in a lexicon. Now, I simply right-click on the English word confidence, select the lemma or the dictionary form of the word, and open BDAG from the context menu. Immediately, Logos takes me to the Greek entry for this word in BDAG, where I find three basic definitions for parecia. The editors draw attention to each of these definitions by using a black box with a number inside. They also provide extended definitions for each nuance of the word in bolded text. The editors of this lexicon tell readers that the bold and italic text is a good working equivalent for the Greek word in translation. I also find a number of examples from primary source texts, such as the New Testament, Philo, Josephus, and other important Hellenistic texts cited after each definition. These citations provide evidence for how the editors of this lexicon understand the meaning of the word. With the Logos edition, I can click on obscure abbreviations like VL, and Logos tells me it is an abbreviation for Vadia Lectio, a Latin phrase that means variant reading. I can also click on the citation provided by the editors and jump to the ancient source being cited. If I wanted to see how Josephus uses the word in Antiquities 2.116, I can hover over the citation or click to open it in a new panel. Since I'm studying 1 John 5.14, it would be particularly helpful to see if the editors cite this text somewhere in this entry. Instead of scanning through the entire entry, I can simply click on the visual filters icon and select Emphasize Active Reference to immediately locate and highlight all the places the editors cite this passage in the lexicon. Notice how 1 John 5.14 lights up, directing me to the third definition a state of boldness and confidence, courage, confidence, boldness, fearlessness under the second subsection in relation to God. If I want to break up these large paragraphs of text, I can use the lexicon outlining visual filter. This visual filter, which is included in Logo 6 base packages, makes it even easier to find and process the information I need. In the Logos edition of BDAG, I can also locate everywhere 1 John 5.14 appears within the lexicon by typing this reference in an inline search. I find the editors reference this passage in the entries on aiteo, akuo, thelema, parecia, and pros. Additionally, I can limit the field of my search by selecting formal equivalents to find everywhere the English word confidence appears in the lexicon as a gloss for a Greek word. To get started using the Logos edition of BDAG, place your order today.